Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Sierra. Today's video is going to be all about Jaclyn Hill's new highlighters that she just launched. She came out with three different type of highlighters for the holiday season, and I was able to pick up one of each. So I got the um, highlighter palette in the Flash, and then I got the Mood Light Duo in Do Me, and then I got the Beaming Light Duo in Balm. So if you guys want to see all three brushes that she just came out with, as well as the highlighters and the shades that I just mentioned, just keep watching. The first product I'm going to be using is the Mood Light Highlighter. I got the Duo, so this came at like a little bit of a discounted price and you were able to get the highlighter and one of her brushes that's specifically for the Mood Light Highlighter. I got the shade Doomy, which was the lightest shade that she had. This is the packaging for the highlighter, very Jaclyn Hill, very um, white and silver, elegant, really pretty and cute. This is the highlighter or setting powder. I'm honestly not quite sure what it is but I'm pretty sure it's mostly like an illuminizing powder so this is what it looks like very cute has Jacqueline's name on the front very elegant I like the frosted color I don't know why I thought this was glass like a frosted glass but it's plastic which is even better because I would probably drop it and break it if it wasn't but I'm gonna open it up there is the inside this is the brush that she specifically made for the highlighter and it is the J01. So the J01 brush is specifically designed for the Mood Light powder. Alright, brought you in a little closer so you guys can see better when I put the powder on. I'm going to take the Doomy and I think I'm just going to put it on my forehead so that I can see other parts of my face with the other highlighters and see which ones I like the best. I am going to be using the J01 brush for the powder. So I'm just going to dip in here into the cap, cap off any excess. I'm just going to put that on my forehead. Now I do have all matte foundation on, matte primer, matte everything so that I can see how much luminosity comes from this powder. So everything right now is definitely mattified. Let's see how much the powder luminizes it. So yeah, that definitely luminizes. I don't know why I put it right there at all. That is highlighting my forehead scar. Don't want to make that more prominent than it already is. Sorry, got a little blurry there for a second. All right, that did bring in some luminosity here. Really pretty, it gives you like a really natural, elegant looking glow. This is something that I could put over all of my face and feel comfortable wearing. Um, if you have dry to normal skin, I think this would be a great powder for you to have a nice, beautiful looking glow. If you do have oily skin, it might enhance that a little bit more. So just keep that in mind um, if you're thinking about purchasing this. This would be really great just right here on the cheeks as well for a really soft glow, soft highlight. There's definitely people out there that like blinding in your face highlights and there's also people that like really soft ones. I definitely like both. So if you're looking for just a really elegant soft highlight, this powder would be great for it. And then if you just want to kind of give yourself a little bit of a dewy natural looking glow as well, that powder would be great for it too. If you're looking for an intense glow, this definitely will not give you that, but it's really pretty. A little goes a really long way too, so you do not need a lot of product when you're doing this. So the brush did a pretty good job. I think it's great for face application. If you're going to put it on your cheeks, I would probably use a smaller brush, probably the J02 brush instead. But if you're going to put this like on your forehead, on your chin, or just anywhere else, maybe here, if you have a darker one, you can use it for um, top of your contour as well. That's going to be a good size for it. But if you want a more precise highlight right here, you're going to probably need a smaller brush. All right, the next highlighter I'm going to use is the highlighter palette. So this is the highlighter palette right here. It has four different shades in it. These all look super pretty just from looking at them. I believe she said they were made in Italy and they are baked highlighters. I'm gonna do some quick swatches so you guys can see what they look like on my skin tone. And I'm just gently going into these. I'm not dipping into it very hard. They feel very good. They don't feel dry. They feel buttery and soft. Okay, so right here we have Gleam, Iced, 
Sparks. And Mesmerized. I don't know if you can see those. They're all really pretty shades. I think the most ones that I'll use are Gleam and Sparks. Mm, actually, Gleam's maybe a little too light for me. Iced and Sparks are actually probably what I'll use the most. <gasps> that did not just happen. I want to cry. My clumsy self just did that. So I'm going to take the J02 brush, I'm going to lightly dip into the shade Iced, and then I'm going to apply it right here. That's not bad. That's really pretty actually. That's stunning. So this definitely has some glow to it, a lot of glow to it really but it's not like too overbearing. It's very soft and it's buildable. So if you want to put another coat on it or the same one, you can build it up even more. I think I'm actually going to take the shade Sparks and put that on top as well. But this is just a little swipe and it's really cute. It is picking up some texture, but what happens with every highlighter, I mean, it's gonna highlight all the texture you got. <laughs> all right, so now I'm putting on the shade Sparks on top of it. Wow. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I really, really like this palette. These are really beautiful. The shades are really good. It's like blinding, but subtle at the same time. No, okay, not subtle. I take that back. It's not subtle at all, but it's just super soft and elegant. Oh my god, I love this one. I'm gonna put some here on my nose, right here. Put some up here too. I love that. Okay, I pretty much use the same highlighters over and over again. Favorite highlighters, ABH and Amarizi highlighter, the Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop, and then the Nikki Tutorials and Ofra collab highlighter. All time favorites, I use those all the time. This is bumping its way up in top five for sure because it is stunning. It's so gorgeous, really soft and elegant, super easy to blend in, and it just looks, I don't wanna say natural, but this is, this is really pretty. I do like this. I like, I don't even know what else to say other than it's super pretty and that I like it. Now I'm gonna use the last highlighter, which is the beaming highlighter, and this is supposed to have the most wow effect to it. I have actually used this already. I used it right here on my lid. I did not have time to film this tutorial. Like I said, it's really late. It's like two o'clock in the morning right now. If you guys really do want this tutorial, I can maybe hopefully do that here in the future by the end of the month. It's been a busy month, <laughs> but I will try to get that up as soon as I can if that's something that you guys want to see. But I will definitely link below all of the makeup deets down below so you guys can see what I use to create this look. And this shade is, I don't know what's the word, it's deceiving, I guess you could say. So when you look at it in the packaging and you look at it right here, it kind of has like a copper look to it. It looks copper, but when you put it on or you swatch it, it's actually gold. I was having a really hard time trying to decide which one I wanted to purchase because I really wanted the gold, but every time I was looking at them, when people were just posting it like this and they weren't swatching it, I was like, that's gonna be too dark, that's just too copper. But no, this actually comes out gold. So do a swatch right here if I can get my finger in there. These nails, I tell you, they are ruining my life. So this is the shade Bomb. So right there, it's Bomb and it comes out gold. I don't even know if the camera's picking it up either, but I promise you it's like a gold shade with a hint of a bronze to it, but mostly gold. So it is right there on the eyes too if you guys want another look at it. Anyways, the brush that she said to use for this one is the J03 brush, which is a densely packed fan brush, little miniature one. I don't really use these for highlighting. I honestly prefer brushes more like this. Actually, my favorite highlighting brush, which I have personally found because of Jaclyn, is the Morphe M501 brush. I use this for highlighting all the time. Pretty much the only thing that I use. This is the perfect brush. So I'm kind of surprised. I mean, this one is similar to it. Eh, not really. 
but I'm surprised she didn't come all the brush like this because she raved and rant about it forever about how much she loved this for highlighting. So I really wish she would have came out of brush looking like this because I would have bought that in a heartbeat. I'm gonna put a little bit on the brush. All right, so. Yeah, I don't like applying. Oh, wow, okay. I can't stand using that though. I do not like that brush. I just don't, I don't know. I don't like fan brushes for putting on highlighter. It's just not something that I like using. I prefer brushes like this. So I'm just gonna use this one. Easier to blend out. So pretty, oh, I really like this. This is a really pretty color. I'm like in awe. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna kind of go over everything really quickly with you, let you know what I like the most, what I would recommend the most, and let you know my final thoughts. So first I'm gonna go over the Dumi. The Dumi is a really pretty luminizing powder. Like I said, probably geared more towards people with normal to dry skin rather than somebody with oily skin, but it gives you a soft, elegant looking glow. You can put it all over your face and feel comfortable with it there and it'll give you a really dewy look. Um, you can also put it right here on the cheekbones for a highlight and have a softer glow there as well. I'm happy with the shade that I got, Dumi. I think goes great with my skin tone. There are darker shades, I just don't have them. I didn't purchase any of them. I just purchased what would work for me. So this is very pretty and I would highly recommend if you like luminizing powders or you're looking for a very soft all over dewy glow. The highlighter palette is a little expensive. It is a lot, but you are getting four highlighters. When you're buying a highlighter palette and you're paying that much for it as well, you should definitely like every single shade in here. I've done it many times where I've bought a palette and I only bought it because I liked one shade, but I've started to gear more towards if I'm gonna buy something, I need to want to use every single shade in here. And I think that these all can be used. Um, I will use all of these. They are very stunning and I did like mixing them together to create this. Really pretty. I'm going to use this a lot. I am going on vacation here pretty soon and this is definitely coming with me. I think that it's going to be safe in the packaging. The packaging doesn't feel cheap. It's very sturdy, very pretty and elegant. I really, really do like this. I think it's very pretty. I think the formula is great. It does not feel cheap and it feels like I got what I paid for. Now the last highlighter is the beaming highlighter. This one is really pretty too. It's over here on this side. It's very blinding, very bright, and it's one of those definite bam in your face kind of highlighters. If that's what you like, then I would highly recommend one of these. This is also a cheaper option too, so I think this one's $23. So if you're looking for something cheaper and you don't want to go buy everything or you don't want to spend $49, $50 on a highlighter palette, then you can definitely get this one for a cheaper price. It's hard to say what I would recommend the most. If you want a very soft, subtle glow, then I would recommend the Luminizing Powder. But if you just want a regular highlighter, then I would personally recommend the highlighter palette. I think that it's worth it. There are beautiful shades in here, and I personally will use every single one of them. So I could spend, I spent $59 or $59 or $60. 49 or 59 I honestly can't remember how much it was but I spent that and I know that I'm getting my money's worth and that it wasn't a waste so I would recommend this one honestly but if you are looking for a more cheaper option then I would go with the beaming highlighter especially if you only want one shade or maybe even two shades out of this highlighter go for the cheaper option if you're not sure test it out see if you like it and then maybe one day in the future she'll bring this back and you can give it a try brushes when it comes to the luminizing powder, I think this one does a good job for it if you're doing it all over your face. If you want a more precise highlight, I would definitely go with the J02 brush. I think this brush would work for every single highlighter that she has. So you could use it easily with the beaming highlighter, easily with the highlighter palette, and also with the Mood Light luminizing powder. I think that if you're only wanting to get one, I would go with the J02. If you like fan brushes, you might like this one. It's dense, but I just personally, I just don't like them. I don't like using them. I, it's not that it's a bad brush. It's just not a brush that I prefer to use. She does have some duos. So you can buy the brush with the highlighter together and save a little bit of money. I did that with two of the highlighters. 
The only thing that kind of irked me just like a little bit with the launch was this was supposed to be up as a duo as well on the site and I purchased everything really quickly like checkout was a breeze for me but unfortunately this wasn't available and I would had to buy the palette separate and the brush separate instead of buying it together. I would have saved a little bit more but I honestly felt bad afterwards because I was on Twitter and people were like the palette sold out in three minutes it's already gone and people were sad because they just wanted the palette and they couldn't get it because it was sold out. So then all of a sudden maybe I don't know 10 or 15 minutes after this sold out the duo finally popped up and people that just wanted to buy the palette didn't want to buy the brush and they were forced to either buy it with the brush or not get it at all because they already checked out and they didn't want to pay for shipping again or just any of that so that was a, just a little tiny mishap it happens i understand it's definitely not the worst experience that i've gone through but at the same time i felt bad because there was people that just wanted to buy the palette they didn't want the brush i wanted the duo I don't know if any of that makes sense. It's really not a big deal at all though. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Overall, I really do like the highlighters. I think that this is a beautiful collection. There's nothing wrong with it that I can see so far. I do, I didn't really wanna go over this, but I think it's guess it's kind of important. We all know what happened the first launch. It was pretty much a disaster. And I think everybody deserves second chances. And I think that this, collection is really beautiful everybody's gonna have their opinion about what happened everybody's gonna have their way that they feel about it I'm not gonna go into much detail I don't like drama I don't want to really speak about it I'm not a drama channel I don't like confrontation but all I really have to say is I do like this collection I think it's really beautiful but yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my YouTube channel really love to have you as part of my YouTube family I do giveaways and I have one up right now if you guys are interested in entering it is going to be gone here pretty soon so enter while you can but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time bye